A rain gutter is to be constructed from a metal sheet of width 30 centimeters by bending up one third of the sheet on each side through an angle theta. How should theta be chosen so that the gutter will carry the maximum amount of water? Okay, as usual, let's label some distances here, 10, let me call this height 10 sine of theta, right? Because clearly this is theta. Here, theta as well. So this height should be 10 sine of theta, right? Now this base should be 10 cosine of theta. This base 10 cosine of theta. And this piece in between is just 10. Great. Okay. Now let's write the goal clearly. The goal is to maximize volume, right? Volume, the volume of water inside the gutter. Okay, but now in order for me to visualize what's going on here in three dimensions, let me do this. I'm not an artist, but more or less, this is what is going on here, right? You may say, Professor, we don't have the depth. Yeah, we don't, but uh, this is 10. We don't have the depth. Assume that that depth is L. L. Turns out for this problem, you will see that the answer does not depend on the depth, L, and does not even depend on this measure 10. You will see, you will see, guys. All right, so, and the height we're saying is 10 sine of theta. And this base, this base of the trapezoid should be just the sum of these three guys, 20 cosine of theta plus 10, right? Great. Now, I gotta compute the volume in general, right? In general, the volume should be the area of this trapezoidal base times this depth L, right? Now, the area of the trapezoid, according to geometry, is just the average of the bases, the average of the bases, so 20 cosine of theta plus 10 here, plus the other base 10 divided by two times the height, 10 sine of theta, and all that multiplied by L, right? L, the depth. Now, this simplify, simplify, will lead to the following. Will lead to the following, 100, 100, L multiplied by cosine of theta plus one times sine of theta. And here important notice, this is just a constant. Next, we have to take the derivative of V with respect to theta, set it equal to zero and solve and solve for theta, right? That way we will get the critical value, serious candidate to maximize this volume. All right, when we take the derivative of this function, notice since this is a constant, this constant will come outside of the differentiation, outside of the derivative, right? 100 L, we gotta focus on taking the derivative of this part. I'm gonna call this F, I'm gonna call this G, I'm gonna use the product rule to get the derivative of this part. So based on the product, derivative of F is just minus sine of theta times the other function sine of theta plus derivative of the second function G, that is cosine of theta times the other function in its original form, cosine of theta plus one, right? This is the derivative. And that should be set equal to zero. Now, important, notice if you divide both sides of this equation by 100 times L, which is a constant, this can be removed from the equation, right? Great, we get here then is sine square of theta plus cosine the square of theta here, plus cosine of theta equals zero. Notice this guy from trigonometry is one minus cosine square of theta, right? Plus cosine square of theta plus cosine of theta equals zero, right? Simplifying, we end up with this, two cosine square of theta plus cosine of theta minus one equals zero. This can be solved using the quadratic formula or even factoring. We are gonna get as solutions cosine of theta 
equal one half and cosine of theta equal negative one. Now, this solution doesn't make sense because notice theta ranges from zero to pi over two radians, right? So we ignore the solution. However, we keep this solution. This guy, cosine of theta equal one half, will lead to theta being equal to the angle whose cosine is one half between zero and pi over two. That is pi over three radians or 60 degrees, right? Serious candidate to maximize this volume. But now, in order to make sure that this is the guy that will maximize the volume, let's do some evaluations. Okay. Theta here, volume here. Let's do the evaluation at the endpoints, zero, pi over two here, and in between pi over three, our series can be, right? Notice, if theta is equal to zero, in this volume function, sine of zero, 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 right? No water held, obviously, right? If theta is zero. If theta is pi over two, pi over two, notice cosine of pi over two, zero, sine of pi over two, one, this volume should be 100 L, right? Some volume there. Now, if you evaluate this function at theta equal pi over three radians, to do that, your calculator, you're gonna get this 129.9 L. Make sure you evaluate this in radians, okay? In radians, this is it. Comparing, this is clearly the maximum volume. So therefore, we can say that if theta is equal to pi over two radians, the amount of water inside the gutter will be maximized. I hope this video helped you. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. More videos coming up. Thank you.